I have like a small kind of analogy to talk about. So a long time ago, I started playing the guitar and I never really went to a guitar teacher and retroactively, a couple of years after I started playing, I realized that I just can't get any better and I wasn't really that good. And I decided to go to a guitar teacher and that guitar teacher told me already in the first lesson that the reason why I can't get better is because the way I'm holding the pick is really messing up my flexibility in the hand. And that was so devastating because it took me so lo- Well, to be honest, I don't think I ever really recuperated from that. I'll never be a professional guitar player. And why am I saying this? Right now we're in a cross path between working in this world of object-oriented programming where it is the direction, it seems, of the future of programming as far as we can see. And you could work and you could choose to go in that path or you could choose to work in the path that you more, the more simple path. And it's really a choice that you need to make. And the reason why I'm st- I made that analogy to the guitar is because if you choose the more simple path, you could always try and move into the object-oriented world and there's no reason not to. But then when you move into the object-oriented world, it'll probably be a bit harder to move into it. Well, if you choose from the beginning to start, you know, leaning to that direction, it's going to be much easier than later on to integrate ideas that are object-oriented. Now, with that said, it's definitely your choice. And one of those things that are kind of like the, you know, the goods and bads is if you choose the easier path right now, It's going to get harder programming as time goes on, as you build more sophisticated applications. Well, if you choose the path of working with object-oriented programming, it's it's an approach of programming that obviously has been uh, endorsed by Flash and endorsed by many other languages, that although it has a lot of overhead, a lot more to type, a lot more things you need to think about, but by adding these complexities, it kind of takes the world of programming into a world that's much more familiar to users, which, what is more familiar to us than objects? If it's a phone, if it's the noise that is in the background that I wish wasn't there, if it's this bottle of water that I have here, all these are objects that I could relate to more easily than just lines and lines of code, obviously. So what, 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 what does that, why am I saying all that, basically? If we work in an environment where we're thinking about objects, where we're thinking about grouping grouping things up, even though setting these groupings and getting used to these groupings might be a little bit more hard, but if we get used to working with groups, getting used to working with objects and with things that are kind of like in our heads tangible, as we evolve as programmers, as we add more code, as we get more sophisticated, it's going to be so much easier working.